Hi guys and good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you will see there, the US 30 is uh, still trading above 17,000. It's currently at 17,000 and let's just, just say 50. Unable to capitalize on the gains there that we made there last Thursday during non farm payrolls. Obviously, the American markets were closed, so it's been quite uh, quite flat the last couple of sessions and uh, the markets do seem relatively uh, directionless this morning across most global equity markets. Looking at the UK 100, um, it has stopped just shy of potential resistance at 68.74. It's had a fantastic last couple of sessions, just unable to break up through that on Friday, even though we ended quite strongly. Uh, this is certainly the level to watch in the short term. Um, looking at Japan 225, which should be getting a little bit of help from the dollar yen moves as well. Um, and it's probably at about a multi-year, a multi-month high, what, about a five-month high now. We're still in the middle of two ranges. Um, there was probably short-term resistance here at 15,482, um, but longer-term resistance is at 15,828. Any reversal will open up the move back down to 49,77. So looking at dollar yen um, now. We had a bit of a reversal there obviously on Thursday for non-farm payrolls, which was much better than uh, the analyst estimates, which was fantastic for the US dollar. Um, has helped push dollar yen back up towards uh, 102. Um, but I'm wondering how long this is going to continue. Uh, you know, the trend has been kind of sideways, kind of downward pressure for, for, for a little while. Um, keep an eye on um, US dollar updates from our global economic calendar uh, to get a bit more of an idea of what's going to happen next with dollar yen. So, Certainly, even though we had a good session there on Thursday, there was a little bit of pressure there again on Friday, and we're not looking too confident again today, but we are trading above both moving averages. So that should be uh, providing a little bit of support, especially in the short term. So Crude Oil West Texas has, uh, has retreated, broke down below 105 there uh, last Wednesday. Uh, we are in the middle of two ranges right now, so look, look at 103 to 105. Uh, and there isn't much else data coming out that's going to affect that in the short term. Um, looking at gold, uh, gold's been bouncing around um, this uh, symmetrical triangle trend line uh, and also this uh, ascending triangle formation right here. So we had the symmetrical triangle formation right here. Uh, and uh, by looking at this, it does look like this has provided some support uh, over the last couple of sessions, though we are on the wrong side of the line right now as, uh, as gold is certainly looking like it's feeling the pressure today. Um, long legged candles here are indicative of some buying interest around about these areas. Uh, historically, but we'll see if that pans out later on today. Otherwise, 1332 is potential resistance. If we do break below this trend line right here, then we're looking again at 1295. So, moving on to your dollar, uh, your dollar has uh, continued to come off since non farm payrolls. Um, we are looking at one spot 3568 as the potential support. Uh, it looks like we, re we almost retested that again this morning. If we break down below that, then one spot 3455 is the next level of support there on your dollar. And GBP USD uh, still close to 172. Uh, looking particularly strong, especially when you consider the non farm payrolls figure that came out there last Thursday. You can see the volatility right there, but sterling still looks strong on the back of, uh, of UK uh, economic growth aspects. So if we look at the economic data, there's not a huge amount out today. Uh, we have to fast forward on to uh, Tuesday to see UK industrial production. And then Wednesday, we've got a whole raft of Chinese CPI and PPI data and uh, crude oil inventories. And uh, I guess now after non-farm payrolls, people, traders will be looking towards earnings season. The next earnings season in the US is not that far away. So the markets might be slightly directionless over the next couple of sessions. Um, but that's going to be relatively short-lived as the markets will get more direction very shortly. Keep your eye on the chart forum as always. Make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.